welcome back users to our channel so in last video we had seen how to do the installation of linux lite 5.4 uh, distro in this video we'll do a brief review of the linux lite distro so open the linux lite distro vm i installed the linux lite distro in, in a virtual machine so i just open the virtual machine via gnome boxes and now i pu uh, put the password that we had uh, <coughs> pre-configured in the installation and then login so linux lite is a xfc based distro so this is the uh, this is how the linux lite 5.4 uh, distro looks now the welcome screen or the welcome app is coming up in the welcome app uh, you can easily access online support, help manual, forums, hardware database, you find secure good. Then you can contribute uh, as a coder, you can donate to support the project, you can shop <coughs> softwares and other goodies from the Linux Lite store. Then the links to the social media presence of Linux Lite is also given here. And finally, you can give the feedback. And from here, you can do the system install, uh, system updates, install the drivers, set a restore point, select, install, select and install language support, select dark or light theme. So we can just if you click, it will show first install. First step one is install updates. This will update the system. Second is the installation of the drivers. So all the required drivers you can install from here. Third is a setting a restore point. So restore point just like in Windows you can set the restore points. So if uh, any outward uh, incident happens and you need to uh, go back to the stable point, you can uh, select the restore point and restore your system to that point. And just uh, can have your st st system stability back. Then here you can install the language support and UFN secure boot uh, <coughs> support is here. So it gives in uh, how to know whether your system supports a BIOS legacy mode or a UFI mode. So you have to open uh, your Windows desktop prior to installing the Linux Lite and then search MS Info or MS Info 32 and then uh, launch the desktop app name system information from here you can see whether the, your system is in uh, uefi mode or it is in the bios uh, legacy mode and according to that you are, during the installation you can uh, choose the uefi grub uh, installer or a legacy boot uh, installer okay here, here they have given the screenshots also and you can uh, enable the secure boot in the uh, in the linux lite installation also and you can upgrade to the uh, 5.4 uh, Linux Lite. If your uh, if your system at is at 5.3 at the present time, and some default uh, pre curated or default uh, apps can also be installed directly. It is packaged as a Lite software. Just uh, if you click on this, and then uh, Chrome, web browser, Dropbox, Kodi, Microsoft Teams, Skype, Spotify, Steam, Teamweaver. Tor web browser and virtual box and zoom will be installed. It is very good. It is all system is pre configured. Uh, so for a new newcomer, it is very good. And uh, at the last uh, hardware recommendations are given minimum computer requirements to install Linux Lite is one gigahertz processor, 768 MB RAM, 8 GB HDD or SD and VGA, uh, VGA screen capable of 1024 into 764 pixel resolution 
DVD driver USB port for the ISO image installation and preferred computer requirements are 1.5 GHz processor or greater than that at least 1 GB RAM or more than that and 20 GB HDD or HDD and VGA up to 1366 into 764 resolution that is the resolution of my screen DVD drive or USB port for the ISO image so from the welcome screen you can do all many many things here and uh, easily <coughs> uh, have your, your system installed and you can start the productivity now we will minimize this then we will go to the menu in the menu you have got favorites that is the install updates and the help help manual is there help menu should be here yes it is here you can see the help menu let it open up so it opens up in the explorer or the web browser here it is systematically given start here contents installation guide is there updates are there software installation uh, is there partitions network how to install the different internet and networks uh, and the related apps and configure how to configure them then the video how to configure the graphics driver if you have got a additional video card installed in your laptop or pc then uh, configuring the sound printing which is very important also nowadays user uh, user ma manager how to add and remove user how to do the admin work then customization of the linux light the themes are there support glossary everything is there and here everything is explained with the screenshots so it will be very easy for the new uh, new users to quickly adapt to the uh, linux light system This is very good work done on part of the devs that encourages new users to adopt Linux. So everything is how uh, it is explained. My computer menu, then the application finder, how to use it. Then the internet menu is also given. All the menus in from the main menu are given. What is what is what kind of packages are to be found there? What kind of applications are to be found there? What are the default applications? Everything, whatever the newcomer requires, everything is given given here in the manual. The desktop layout is also given. The different keyboard uh, combinations are given. How to disable the secure code is given. A video a video link is given, so you can directly watch the video from here on itself in the manual. So Linux Lite recommends that you disable secure boot in your BIOS. Many times, what happens is with the with the secure boot on, you cannot install or the installation fails. So all what the new user requires, everything is there then the software let us go to software section so how to change the desktop environments is given changing repository locations creating extracting compressed files file encryption getting software installing software from a dev package or uh, installing software from dev package or from the terminal using apt from source code uh, the tweaks are there boot up fix clear mirror, everything all it is a very detailed manual it is very nice on part of the devs and we should all thank them for this beautiful manual <laughs> then the hardware uh, bluetooth how to enable the full support booting issues dual boot multiple drivers dual boot modification repair dual uh, dual monitor setup instructions graphics amd radeon graphics uh, set, drivers and setup graphics nvidia prime nvidia hardware database hp printers on linux light the different installation issues are there keyboard related issues 
and how to <coughs> configure your keyboards light system report tool there is a report tool also present in the system printer setup resources for audio driver resources for compatible printer sound configuration share your print and from linux lite and volume toggles then there are tutorials are also there, antivirus tutorial you can just click on the antivirus so it is giving me a tutorial for the, how to install the clan av antivirus and the clan av daemon and the fresh clam how to <coughs> use the fresh clam utility to update the clam av antivirus everything detailed everything is given then customization how to apply a new icon set how applying a new mouse theme applying a new theme how uh, customizing linux like customizing the panel bar desktop settings basic light desktop widget themes and icon sets window manager tweaks workspace setting everything is given everything the use, new user needs to configure the system get comfortable and then start tinkering with the system everything is given you can tinker with the system as much as you like but always remember if you don't know exactly what tinkering you are doing better do uh, better don't do it first you find out how to do the proper tinkering and then only you attempt the tinkering you should always consult good guides available in uh, text and video form and then only attempt the tinkering otherwise you can have a crash system and you will have to uh, reinstall the system and uh, there might be some data loss so there are some screenshots are given then how to <coughs> have the application auto start that is also given many many things are given so we cannot cover everything because it will be very long video i am just showing you where what what it uh, where what what is given in the help manual it is very detailed i have never seen this much detailed help manual anywhere in any distro very beautiful everything is given you need not go anywhere you just use this help file then on then also you will be become an expert in linux everything is uh, given here properly here how to how to apply a new icon set everything is given Now how to change the appearance of uh, appearance of the panel that is also given how to set the launchers in the panel everything is good it is very beautiful i really like it now you can go back then there is a glossary is there so the different uh, terminology used in the uh, in the help manual you can find find it here so it uh, the glossary will explain the different terminology used in uh, the help manual all the technical words their explanation is given here what is gpt grub what is appstab what is ip address what is kernel what is legacy everything is given it is very beautiful manual i uh, personally i would like to thank the developers for developing such a good uh, manual other distro man uh, distro <coughs> dev should take an example from this it is very good other distros also have most of the distros have a help manual but the degree of the detail is varying in each of the distro hel uh, help manuals so they have got a different degree of uh, details given so this is the very detailed i i really liked it everything is given what everything what a new user would like it is given here okay so we come out of the help manual and now let us explore the main menu 
so here once you start using regularly your uh, desktop the recently used uh, fields will be populated with the recently used files then here from here you can see all the applications let us check accessibility settings accessibility app which uh, <coughs> helps in setting the accessibility features is here advanced network configuration appearance application finder archives backups are there uh, <coughs> bluetooth adapters bluetooth manager calculator dvd burners color profile setting the color profiles importing the color profiles and setting them here can get done using this app then the desktop is there disk display documents document scanner downloads file system file manager settings file search font help manual is there as uh, high dpi settings that is uh, to set high desktop scaling home that is the your home folder ibus preferences image setting install drivers install updates keyboards language support uh, light dm gtk greeter settings light auto login light desktop ah yes now light desktop let us click so if your system is very old and has issues running on the uh, running the linux light distro then you can use this feature so it will further uh, reduce the resource usage and then the system will become very light and easily operatable on your very old uh, system that is your laptop or pc so if you use <coughs> this setting then the whole pc the desktop icons on the whole pc will change if you use this setting then only user file icons will be affected here the network icons the control panel then this this pc if you select then the uh, desktop icon theme will be disabled same here user files icon will be disabled network file icons will disable and the control panel will disable control panel icons will disable okay so let us select okay we selected at last first let us explore ah there's a firewall is also given that is very good then the file search okay we have already seen firewall and firewall config fonts are given you can change the fonts from here create a system report this uh, see you can uh, select the <coughs> linux light repositories from here it will first ask you to authenticate okay from here you can select this select the different repositories here it is given country wise so india doesn't have a repository right now which is okay vietnam has got taiwan is uh, taiwan has got hong kong and then uh, indonesia is also there so we can <coughs> download the iso or the different packages from the nearby uh, repositories or the from repositories which are very fast so let's shut it down then let us go further explore the uh, different apps available Ah, now this is the welcome screen that we had seen when the system booted <coughs> this is a typical xfc menu the devs have decorated the custom uh, xfc um, menu icons and everything and window decorations with a setting of their own this is the uh, paint app the panel is there you can configure the panel from here okay everything is given workspaces you can configure the layout names of the workspaces and margins word processor 
then window manager is there configure window behavior you can even align the title alignment title font also you can change the fonts of the title of the windows the keyboard different uh, shortcuts that can be set in your keyboard and used then the focus click to focus or fo uh, focus will follow the mouse speed of the mouse <coughs> everything it is given and there is an advanced menu for window snapping it is all very very neatly done work by the devs of this distro we close this down we further explore the applications the settings manager is there settings editor <laughs> that is the configuration setting manager so the displays keyboards the tuner file manager tuner volume manager then the different xfc goodies you can you can customize setting for the different xfc goodies and the x settings from here close it down pdf viewer is given partition drive i think that is g drive yes it is g parted so you can you can do the custom partitioning from here we can cover the g parted uh, sometime sometime uh, some other time bluetooth manager is there let us explore it <coughs> Meanwhile, what we can do is we can put the trash, trash down, push PC up, user files. Just a moment. Okay. Okay. So I think there was some problem opening the Bluetooth manager. Let us try it once more. Okay, we have got uh, system restore utility there, so you can take regular backups. It is very good uh, system restore utility which I use regularly. Then this is the task manager. There are some templates, home SAM templates which can you can import. There is archive manager. Then there is some backup app, extra backup app. No, only this is the only backup management. Okay. Oh, let, let, let me check what exactly it is okay there is, is a additional backup app called deja dupe backup i am not uh, much using this back, uh, backup uh, tool i already uh, i always use the time shift i am comfortable with time shift more than this uh, backup app okay now this is the advanced network configuration you can add different uh, wired or wireless networks here. This is the light info. Okay, it is not working here in the VM because it, you can see the hardware database does not accept submissions from the virtual what happens is once you install the system on a bare metal 
after the first boot up this uh, this app will draw the hardware info from your system and then it will load it to the online hardware database but since this is a vm the app cannot uh, draw pick up your hardware data uh, pick up your hardware info and uh, push it to hardware database so this will not work in a vm but it on bare metal when you install it will work for sure okay now this light software is a tool to remove or install packages so it is asking me whether you like to update software so yes the repositories do you want to update them i say yes let us see what happens uh, now it is updating the repositories and then it will give me the how many uh, packages can be updated Let us see. <clears throat> now it is asking me to select a task below install software or remove software. So I select install software. Let us see what happens. Okay. Now it is giving me a list of softwares that can be installed. Plus on the notification shared, it is giving me uh, there are 385 software updates available. 377 of them are important. So do you want to install the updates? Then you have to click here. I will not install, not required. We are just doing a review. So let us see what uh, softwares are available in the repos. Audacity, Calibre, Chrome, Dropbox, HR, USB Burnal, FileZilla, Gamespack, Gini, Handbrake, iDevices, Instant Kodi, Instant Messenger, Kodi, Music Player, NitroShare, Note Taking, Journal, OBS, Studio, Password Manager, Play on Linux, Remote Desktop Software, Redshift, Restricted Extras. Yes, now Restricted Extras are the uh, third party media codecs which are non-free hence uh, by default they are uh, not installed but you can select and install them later after the main installation is completed or you can select the install third party uh, codecs wi-fi drivers and uh, media formats during the installation when the choice is given otherwise after the installation complete you can go to the store like this and then install the software then simple screen recorder, Skype, sound user, Spotify, Steam, Team Weaver, Telegram, Torrent, software, web browser, video editing software, virtual box, weather monitor, webcam, wine. I think it is a very good uh, collection of uh, softwares which are mostly used by everybody. Zoom is also there at the bottom. You can see here the zoom is there. Yes. So all the software generally required by most of the user is there and if you have got additional uh, software you can in also install it here uh, now you can tweak and clean your system using the so you can do a uh, <coughs> boot up fix clear memory default D web browser display disk usage firefox cache cleaning hibernate suspend uh, preferences hostname kernel installer kernel remover locate large files log files login logout options manage save session num log package cache so all you can all the settings can be done using the light tricks app for the linux Lite 5.4 Linux distro, GNU Linux distro. So it is very uh, fine grained uh, controls are available for the user. Normally, uh, advanced users can do all these things from the terminal, but the new users, all people who are more comfortable with the GUI, they require such apps. And uh, Linux Lite uh, devs have delivered such an app called Linux Twix for this distro. 
to ease the work admin work for the new users or people who uh, enjoy gui more than the terminal so new block then package cache package uh, package system repair preload app system d cleaner taskbar restore tlp whisker menu and zram so everything is given so let us see uh, we can select one and let's see how it works let us use uh, okay let us do clear memory that is easy so now it is started to free the system memory it's completed immediately because you see right now the system is very new there is very less uh, uh, temporary files and other all sorts of uh, dirty things uh, unnecessary things in the system so but it is working now uh, let us see what it does on selecting the default web browser begin now it is looking for the different browser install and then it is giving me the option fetching the option from the system settings that <coughs> select firefox as a default browser so i select it and then set the firefox as a default browser it has done its work now kernel installer this is very good let us see now what will it do it will okay kernel installer will fetch the update list containing the uh, kernels available as of update let us see what happens now it is going to the ubuntu focal backports repo now it will show the list of kernels available oh it's very easy okay kernel up to 5.17 is available very good and the oldest kernel available is 3.13 so for very very old systems you can use the 3.13 kernel and uh, manage to operate your system uh, without any issues and for the newest systems like the comet lake ice lake and uh, newest chipsets you can go with the linux lite kernel version 5.17 that is the 10th generation or 11th generation processors you can use this that is the latest kernel so there are many different security patches and and functionality enhancements in the newer kernels for the newer systems let us see what is in the multimedia so they are for the multimedia they have got uh, vlc uh, media player and the volume control i think that is the pow uh, control and the cd dvd burner for internet they have got the thunderbird mail client network connections manager support is there <coughs> and then web browser that is the inter internet based support for your linux nice system and the web browser that is firefox then for graphics you have got a document scanner image editor that is the gimp image uh, editor it is very advanced huh? you can there are many lots of features i first used this gnome editor way back in 2004 and 5 yes using the red hat uh, that time we were using red hat uh, distro then the paint is there then the photo manager app is there accessories you got application finder archive manager backup that is deja dupe backup calculator file search fonts screenshot and text editor then for the office you got the word uh, word processor presentation and spreadsheets and the pdf viewer let us see what uh, what word processor they are given okay i think it is ah yes it is libre office version okay version 6.4.6 .6, that is the older version but still it uh, it will work and it is it is feature rich and it is compatible with windows so there is no issue as such issues 
then the let us see pdf viewer okay right now we don't have any pdf so we cannot uh, check this app out but it is there all the required system things are there let us go to uh, applications all applications ah now this is good feature so suppose uh, you are lazy and you don't want to input your password every time or there is no necessity of uh, security for a system your laptop never leaves your room then you can enable the auto login so if you just click the auto login then from the next time onward the system will directly use your password which has been set and it will just boot, boot the system without your intervention and if you suppose if you want to go out from your uh, home and you want to disable the auto login then you can use this option disable auto login so after uh, disabling this auto login from the next boot onwards the system will ask password every time it is booted so this is a very nice feature we should thank the devs for giving such a uh, nice features useful features for end users so rest of the i think the thing uh, okay let, let uh, bluetooth manager let us see they have used the blue man bluetooth manager let us see whether it boots up right now. Last time it failed. Okay, maybe I should turn the Bluetooth on. Then it will work. Okay, Blue's daemon is not running okay diamond okay okay now let us let us do it again hmm. just taking time maybe we first configure okay 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 i understand what happened is first we have to enable the bluetooth automatically yes using i am using this right now first we have to configure the bluetooth adapters and then you can use the bluetooth manager to manage the bluetooth connection so now now you can start the bluetooth manager it should work right now I prefer to uh, keep the trash here. It should be separate from the other uh, desktop icons. It looks neat and clean this way. It is taking hell lot of time. Okay, yeah. blue diamond has not. Maybe after a restart, this blue diamond will start because I have now configured the uh, Bluetooth adapters. So the next uh, next uh, boot onwards the blue man uh, bluetooth manager will work right now it is not working so you can <coughs> configure this system to work inside uh, inside a windows network so that capability is there in this distro also and the this is the linux uh, network and this is the windows both uh, it can work So we stop this review here. It was a very detailed review of the Linux Lite 5.4 uh, distro. Thank you very much. Do subscribe to our channel. Do give us comments. Do give us feedback on what kind uh, what uh, topics you want to watch videos. We will try to make videos on the topics suggested by you. Thank you very much. See you. See you again. Bye bye.